convinced that if we are to get on the right side of the world revolution, we as a nation must undergo a radical revolution of values. We must rapidly begin to shift from a thing-oriented society to a person-oriented society when machines and computers, profit motives and property rights are considered more important than people. The giant triplets of racism, militarism, and economic exploitation are incapable of being conquered. A true revolution of values will soon cause us to question the fairness and justice of many of our present policies. Millions of young people grow up in the sunlight of opportunity. But that is another America. And this other America has a daily ugliness about it that transforms the buoyancy of hope into the fatigue of despair. In this other America, millions of people find themselves walking the streets in search for jobs that do not exist. For in this other America we find some 40 million of our brothers and sisters perishing on a lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean of material prosperity. What is it that America has failed to hear? It has failed to hear that the plight of the poor has worsened over the last few years. It has failed to hear that the promises of freedom and democracy have not been met. It has failed to hear that large segments of white society are more concerned about tranquility and the status quo than about justice and humanity. But you are reminding the nation that it is a crime for people to live in this rich nation and receive starvation wages. True compassion is more than flinging a coin to a beggar. A true revolution of values will soon look uneasily on the glaring contrast of poverty and wealth with righteous indignation. A nation that continues year after year to spend more money on military defense than on programs of social uplift is approaching spiritual death. Somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly. Somewhere I read of the freedom of speech. Somewhere I read of the freedom of press. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. <laughs> 